I am about makeup. That is all I am about. I don't want the drama. I don't want the scandals. I don't want none of it. I don't want to talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing, finally, the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters. I have all three different highlighters, the palette, the moon powder, the loose beaming highlighting powder. I don't freaking know. I got all of them. I know I am very late on it. Uh, I just decided to buy it a couple weeks ago and here I have it. So if you are interested to see my swatches, my thoughts, what it looks like on my face, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. All right, so today my hair looks super frizzy, frumpy, dumpy, bleh, so just ignore it. However, if you guys were not on my Saturday Live, I did get the new 35i palette um, from Morphe. It's the Icy Ice Fantasy palette, I don't freaking know. I don't really like it, but I did use it today on my eyes underneath. And then on the top, I will tell you, I do really like this look. So if you go back and see my video, I'll go ahead and link it here, put it in the description. Um, the blues weren't working out for me, but I did go and buy the new e.l.f. Putty Primer in white. And here it is right here. And it's actually really nice. It's really thick, really tacky, and it helped really bring out the pigment and the colors in my eyeshadow. So I wanted to let you guys know like an update on that, that it actually turned out really well. I, I still don't think that that palette is all that it is cracked up to be. A lot of the, um, a lot of the pictures you're seeing on Instagram are highly, highly edited. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about purchasing it. That's all I gotta say about it. We're over it. I'm moving on. I'm probably gonna give it to my daughters because they're gonna love all the pastel colors. I love this green look, but honestly, I probably won't wear it very often. And just to let you know that I have Venus Eye Trap in here because I did not have any lime green eyeliner. Not the best decision makeup wise that I've made because it's definitely making my eyes extremely dry, but it worked. Also, two other things I want to touch base before we get into it, or a couple other things, is one, I also got the new e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, and this is $8, and this stuff is the bomb. So I have been trying like all the new e.l.f. stuff just because like a lot of people have recommended it, and this one I like better than the Poreless Primer, so keep that in mind. But I really, really, really do like that one. And then this baby, is also something that I talked about in my Saturday Live. I've been using it for the past couple of days. This is the NARS Lum All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and this is the shade Medium 4, and I love it. It is literally my new foundation. It's my new favorite. It's the bomb. Like, it's buildable, but it's also so light that with the way my skin is so dry right now, it's like, okay. I see you, I love you, here it is. Like it just makes my skin look so good, it feels so good, it doesn't feel super heavy. So that is all of the updates right now guys. I'm sorry that I did all of that before the actual review. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into the review. So I have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder and this one is in the shade Carrots. I think this is the all over powder, if I'm not mistaken. It's weird because it doesn't say like moonbeam or something like that. That's what she said it was. So this is Catch the Light Collection. I'm looking at it right here. So not moonbeam. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the Mood Light. And this is a luminous powder. And again, this is in the shade Carrots. This is a fairly decent size. So if I were to compare it to the elf putty primer um it is obviously pretty tall and deep and it's also pretty round so it is a decent size and it's 32 dollars. and the one i got was soft golden glow ideal for light to medium skin tones which holla that's what i am so let's open her up ooh, ooh. i don't like those so this is actually really dark Bring out that inner glow with this Magically Luminous Powder. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this powder. I think this is the all over one, so 
I'm gonna get this big old brush right here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the actual color though. By the way, if my lighting is crazy, please tell me, is it too dark, is it too light? I keep messing with my lighting trying to make it so perfect for you guys and I just can't get it right. I feel like one day it's way too bright, one day it's way too dark, so if you guys can comment below and just let me know what you think, your thoughts, your opinions are extremely important to me. I have a crazy hair that won't go away. But just go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think about the lighting. Do you like this lighting? Is it too dark? Because I want the back to kind of be a little bit dark so it focuses on me, but it doesn't wash me out. So if you look here, I'm going to try to do this so it doesn't spill. It's like really dark. It's like super tan. So I did put my blush and bronzer on. But that's fine because I can just go over like the areas that I didn't. Okay, so it doesn't go on super, super dark. So that's nice. I don't know that you can really see anything. There is like a light, subtle shimmer to my skin. I don't know if you guys can see that. I feel like it's just putting glitter on my face. I ultimately regret that. However, I will tell you in the viewfinder, it is making my skin look glowy. So like on my nose, I don't have any highlighter on except for this powder. However, I just feel like it kind of made me look a little ashy down here. Again, it may not be picking it up on camera. It made my forehead look dewy, but like in person, I can I'm, I think it's, it's just gonna be a little too dark for me. That might be what's going on because it's almost coming off gold on my skin. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit more. I'm gonna beat the crap out of it because I can't get it to come out of the dang pan. So I'm gonna go ahead in here. Okay, so all I needed to do, oh, okay. <laughs> so look at the difference in how dull this is versus how like bright this is. So this, I know what I did wrong. I have to use half of the freaking container to get it to do the glowy glowy. So that's fun and all, but you gonna run out of this product real fast if you're using as much as I just did dipping in there. However, so on camera, it looks phenomenal. Like my skin, has never been that dewy like that. On camera for photos, this is going to be everything. Like everything, everything. But in real life, you gonna look like you got highlighter all over your face. That's what this looks like. Like, I legitimately look like I have highlighter. Oh my God. So like I said, on camera, it looks like fantastic. I look so fresh and dewy, but boo. In person, I look like I took a very light highlighter and just went So I would be mindful of that. You kind of have to put a lot on um, to get that effect. Like when I first did it, you really couldn't tell like down here. But once I put like a lot on, it went ham. So the next thing I have is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. And this says, these super creamy highlighters are like a flash of light with every swipe. And this is called the flash. So I did get the light to medium palette. I learned my lesson from the Laura Lee one that I don't need both of them. You're looking at an original. Our accent light highlighters are made using a proprietary filling process that creates unique, one-of-a-kind patterns in every pan. This is no ordinary highlighter palette. It's a work of art. Okay. We'll go with that, Jacqueline. It's pretty. I don't know that I would say it's a work of art. I don't feel... That is one thing that I will say is, like, I don't feel like her collection was very innovative. This one, I will have to give it to her. For photo purposes, this one is really, really nice, but I know that Hourglass has one like this too, and it's actually one of Jacqueline's favorite products. So I don't know, but this one's cheaper. So you can always, you know, instead of getting, I think it's like $80 for Hourglass's powder. I don't know, it's really expensive. So this is the Flash palette, and this palette retails for $49. So they have two palettes available, which is the Flash and the Flare. The Flare is gonna be for medium to deep skin tones. And this one, like I said before, is from light to medium. I'm trying not to blind you. I will tell you this packaging 
is stunning like that mirror is pretty shiny I like that it's like a mirror all around like this is like a mirror just a mirror 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 all right so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch these on my hand and then obviously on my face so you have four different shades ranging from like white light yellow light rosy gold and then almost like mm, so you have like a champagne and then a rosy gold so this one is gleam okay and then this one is iced and then this one is sparks with the dollar sign so is it spark money or is it just spark i don't know mm, this one is mesmerized so they all do obviously have different undertones, but I do feel like they're a bit light. So they all kind of, I'm trying to do this, they all look very similar on the skin. So I went ahead and I turned that light down. So we are going to go in to the face with this. Now, I don't have the brushes that she did because I just was not about that life. So I have this Real Techniques brush and this is the 428 Precise Fan. I feel like it's fairly similar and this came in a gift set for like four bucks and their brushes are expensive. So I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do Gleam, the super, super light one. And let's see, I do love this mirror. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna tap it. And I'm gonna just pop it. Ooh, I actually think I'm gonna go into a different color though. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go into iced. It's gonna go better with my skin tone right now. And it's also gonna go better with that color that I put down. And I'm also going to pick a different fan brush to use on the other side. So that is really glowy and it is really creamy. Um, I will give her that. This turned out like, this one is nice. I like this one a lot. Like when I turn, you can just see like it's just so blinding. And I really, really do like that. I like this palette actually a lot. So I'm going in with the ABH brush just to see what we got with a regular brush instead of that fan brush. Because this is my favorite highlighting brush. I, okay, these, this one so far is my favorite. It is really, really, really blinding. So if it looks like my lighting has shifted throughout the video, it has, I'm testing, I'm sorry, you guys are my test subjects for today with my lighting. So if you hated it, tell me at what point you hated it. So this one is the Loose Highlighter, and this is Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter High Volt. And this is Light Up the Room with this Silky Soft Ultra Beaming Highlighter. This is the Loose Highlighter, just the regular itty bitty Loose Highlighter. And I think it was called something else. Okay, so this is called Beaming Light Loose on the website and it's $24 and then this one is mood light luminous powder but it's just called luminous powder on the box that's really weird all right whatever who cares so that is actually going to be really pretty on me oh she's pretty so this is more like a champagne -y rosy color i don't know if it's picking that up but it definitely has like that really really pretty champagne color but some rose gold but if you look at it in the pan it looks hella pink like hella dark so let's here goes nothing i'm gonna go in and put it on my nose oh oh she blinded okay okay she did not come to play with this collection I won't lie to you, I think, oh, I think I really, 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 really love the loose powder the best. That turned out like so stunning. Oh my God. Okay, so that is definitely gonna be my go-to for that. Like, 
Do I look like a glazed donut? Tell me I look like a glazed donut. Oh, I love this one. Oh my God, okay. So I really, 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 really love this one. It's a little messy, but it's loose highlighter. So, and then this one is teeny tiny. I will compare it as well to the e.l.f. putty primer because most people have this. So just so you know, like the size that you're getting. I would have to say I am not a fan of the mood light I think this is what it's called there's two different names like the package has one name hers has another but the big powder I'm not the biggest fan of I think when I'm gonna be on like YouTube or Instagram or something photo related this is gonna be something that I really do use in an everyday occurrence in the even a going out bar glam occurrence I'm not gonna be using this it just this is nice, but when I turn a certain way, it literally looks like I have highlighter all over my face where I have applied this. So I think that this one you can do without. I'm stuck between which two of these, which one of these I like best. So I like the palette. It is a little bit more expensive. It's 42. The powder, the little powder is 24 but you're getting a very beautiful palette and you're also getting four highlighters versus the one. So if I had to pick, this one would definitely be my go-to because I feel like I have a lot of different options. Can we just say, started from the bottom, now we're here. Like I, I honestly, I have nothing against Jacqueline. If you guys want, reviews where I'm bashing someone because of who they are I'm bashing makeup because of the owner or the you know scandal that's going on my reviews are not for you if you are looking for a person who's gonna tell you this product is shit or this product is no good because you don't like someone or to validate the reason you don't like somebody on the internet that you don't know then this channel is not for you I am about makeup that is all I am about. I don't want the drama. I don't want the scandals. I don't want none of it. I don't want to talk about it. The product. I don't know Jacqueline. I have followed her for a long time and stopped following her a while ago. But I don't know her to be like, oh, her products are crap. These are not crap. Like this used to be my favorite palette simply because it is good. Like anyone that says that this palette was not good is tripping. This palette was good. It has a lot of good qualities, but I will tell you right now, hands down, I love these highlighters so much more. Like look at this nose, whoo girl. So I think you did a fantastic job. I would highly recommend these two. If you guys don't have them, I know Morphe has them. Jacqueline's website has them. You can use Afterpay on Morphe. You cannot with Jacqueline. Um, but other than that, you guys are gonna wanna check these two out. Um, I don't recommend the brushes just because if you have a ton of brushes, you have your favorite, you don't need more. And then also, this one, like I said, just pass on it. If you wanna go try it in the Morphe store, if you have one near you, I totally do recommend that. I think that she did a great job. I'm excited to see what else comes from her company. I'm excited to see if she comes out with like more highlighters, cause we know she's the queen of highlighters. Like what's she gonna come out with? I don't know, but I'm here for it because these highly impressed me. Um, they are kind of pricey. But they're very luxurious. Like, this is a very luxury package you're getting. Like, this is no, like, plastic ColourPop collection. This is heavy duty. And this mirror, like, I don't want to blind you. But straight up, like, this mirror is good. Like, I could... Hello. Yes. Yes. So, kudos to you, Jacqueline. Keep it up. I can't wait to see what else you come out with. And as always, guys, leave a comment with your thoughts below. Let me know if you have anything from the collection. Let me know if you're gonna get anything and what you think about it. Obviously, like I said before, I really don't wanna discuss drama or scandals or anything like that. So just try to keep the comment section to about the makeup and your thoughts on the product. As always, guys, I love you. I will see you next time. Bye.